Hi, this is BB. And it's about 4.20 and I'm in the morning on the 3rd. I've got, um, I woke up, everything was, was fine. As soon as I woke up, I get images of a burnt building, like seeing myself in a burnt building, seeing other people. It like, they put images in your head, like, you know, they want people to think of burning. They're, they, 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 they feel like if you're burnt, they can't identify who is who. These are the kind of people I believe would pick some dead bodies, they would kill people, put them in a fucking building and set it on fire and, you know, put something to represent them. Now they may have a fire marshal under their pay, on, in, the, uh, in their pocket, who will be the one to come in and check the whole thing and say, well, it's identify it as them. These people are like a one-stop shop. Uh, back in, in California, one time I had bought a camera about a month before I moved out. And I had the camera in front my inside my door but facing the outside. Because they were coming around my house so I thought they would pick one of their faces up. It would be the ideal thing to take to the police. And it picked up someone walking on, on the perimeter of the yard, like the, um, just around the fence and close to the, the building, the, uh, the, bit, the, the large building. And then the person paused as they were walking out the yard and looked at her cottage, the Mexican woman's cottage, and looked down on the ground in front of her door. He paused and he, he didn't look at my door at all. He, he looked down on the, on the ground and looked at her door and then he walked out. Now, I, from what I look, it looked like somebody tall, lanky, and Caucasian. It could have been, um, if he was Mexican, it would have been the person next door. But he was not, he's not that tall. So, I'm not, not, not her, not from her house, from the, from the main house, but he, he's not that tall. It may have been him, I'm not sure, because I didn't hear their door open. Because they had a habit of slamming their doors. I am pretty certain when I moved to Oklahoma in the motel, they were having some problems with electricity and things were cutting off, you know, things were working as well. And one day my door was open, I was always to be open and I was watching. And their, um, their box, the box, the electrical box was in a, a little um, hut, like a little, um, like a, what do they call those things in the yard? Um, a little shed behind the, the pool. And uh, they came out and it looked, ex the owner of the motel was there and it looked exactly like that tall lanky guy. And they were looking right up into my, into my room, like from the bottom. My guess is whatever they're using to fry us, it pulls a lot of electricity. It pulls a lot of electricity. Now that could have been just a coincidence that the guy looked like him. I don't know. But it pulls a lot of electricity. What? Of course it would. It's a microwaving someone. It's, it would pull a lot of electricity. And maybe he was telling them, because they want to establish, they want to, like something, like wherever I go, this is happening, then I must be the one who has this thing in my house. That's fraying other people. And microwaving other people. Now these people would put stuff in your crawl spaces, would hide stuff. See, that's one of the things they're banking on. They would, like if I die, if I die in this house, they will put something somewhere, they'll come in the window, they'll come in the door, they'll put something in here to say, well, oh, she was the one frying people. I will be known then from then on as a fucking terrorist because that would be nothing short of terrorism. I would be a terror, this is what they're trying to prov promote. See, they're not only looking to get rid of their victims, but they're looking to pin the crimes that they have committed on their victims. Because that's exactly what they would do. There's somebody probably wanted for something for, that's missing from the government, some technology, some piece of uh, software, there's something that's missing. And everywhere I go, the same shit's happening. What do you think they're going to say? What's the common denominator? Again, it'll be me. But th at this point, they're not playing with a full deck. Of course, they're not. Look at what they do. And one of the things I have to look at, I, I'm looking at earnestly, 
is like I talk with them. They're they're not the sharpest bulbs in the in the, in the, in, the, in the chandelier. You could tell they're not the sharpest bulbs. I don't know if it's because of my brain, because this is not my forte. This is not my activities. These are not my activities. This is not my my bread and butter. I am not a criminal mind like that. I would like to catch them, but I'm not that kind of a criminal. I don't have that criminalistic mindset. To you know, I'm not looking to pin something on other people because I'm not a criminal. I'm not looking to get out of jail or to stay out of jail or to stay out of prison or to frame anyone or to or to um, bribe anyone or to look for a way to to commit a horrendous act and then pretend it's the is the person who got caught in the crossfire is the bad guy. I'm not these are these things are not on my to do list. But the, it's like they're in your head and they're, they feel like they're piling up with you almost. I don't know if Kevin Christian is experiencing it this way. It's almost they feel like they're piling up with you like they're your friends. They're like, like, they're, like you and them are now tight, you're, you're close. So they, there's almost like, well, like you're, you're their confidant or they're your confidants. So they'll they they give you this impression when they're when they're when they're when they're talking to you using this technology, is like you and them are tight, and all the while they're trying to push you under a bus and in front of a train to pin all this shit on you, and take all the fucking money you they stole and just got abscond with it. I do believe those stamps are worth a lot of money. There has to be money involved in this. I'm one woman. The amount of things that they've done. It's kind of hard to pin this on just one woman. My guess is that they would they would kill other people, put them in the vicinity and cause a, a big fire. It could be like a gas fire, it could be a whole fucking neighborhood, it could be something that they're trying to do. Like I said, there's somebody else in this neighborhood who, who cusses out all the time with this invisible person and she said there were eight of them. And they're telling her they're coming out the wall, they're coming out the ceiling, they're coming out this, like that. My guess is she is a medium or she's schizophrenic. Or she's not schizophrenic, or she, she's a medium or she's psychic. And they're just driving her crazy. They must have been doing this to her since she was a child. Not schizophrenic, I scratched that. Psychic. She must be psychic or she might be a medium. And they use your fears against you because she's afraid of any of the things that go bump in the night. Most people are. So, these people are not, they're horrible people. When I say horrible, they're horrible people. And I know that when they hear this, they're going to say, well, she already thinks you're horrible. Now they have to live out that fantasy of being horrible. Because they'll jump on that like white on fucking rice. They have to prove now how horrible they are. They don't have anything else to do. They're like kids, basically, in grown adult bodies. Makes you wonder if they are fucking with people's kids. And they're, they're drawing that youthful energy. That energy of um, no commitment, um, having no, um, no type of um, uh, accountability, having no type of... Um, What's the word? Accountability, um, responsibility for their actions. You know, when you're a kid, you can be a terrible kid, but you have you don't care. You put it behind you, because you you go home, your food is on the table, your clothes your clothes are washed, and um, you know, they, mommy and daddy takes care of everything. Like a kid again, you don't have any responsibility. You can be the world's worst kid, but you go home, and everything is okay. You feel safe. It's kind of like what they're doing. But, however, I don't play that way. It's just that they have this thing where they feel like, where they want to give the impression like I'm on board with them. I don't know them. I don't indulge in their activities. I don't know anything about them. I don't want to. If I had enough money today, I would just leave this place. They've 
can't, can't, they have my business. I can't stand these people. They just want to be jacked up under my crack all the time. It's not, how, how much can you do to a woman that you feel like you, she's alive and she's begging you to stop hacking her? Begging you, begging you. And these people are not humans and the police will treat them as such. They're not humans. They're no longer human beings. And they're not ascended as whatever they call it. They're descending into madness. These are the people who, 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 who I, I expect some type of rationality from. It's not going to happen. I'm waiting for some kind of something they do to make sense. Something they do that says grown up. Something they do that says responsibility and accountability. What am I looking for? I don't know. They lost their fucking minds a long time ago. They lost their minds a long time ago. I'm begging them just to stop hacking me. That's a lot for them to do. They can't do it. They just want to sit down and torment people and think it's a thing. It's a thing. How does that become a thing? How does that become a thing? Can anybody tell me that? For to sit down and torment somebody day and night, day and night. How, when has that become a thing? Something that they're glued to like they can't stop. Something that they, they, they're going out of their way to do every day. They're, they're running home just to do it. And the woman, is, which is me, is begging them, please stop. I've even told, I know who they are, and I've even told them, if you have kids, it's going to fall on those kids. When this erupts in your face, those kids will have to change their names, they'll have to change everything and move away. They'll have to run away. Begging them, I'm begging them, please stop. All they do is shit all the fucking time to grown people and then claiming it's a thing and they're out of control and they can't help themselves. Really? Who the fuck is going to believe them? I'm not a wall. I'm not a post. I'm not something inanimate. I'm very vocal that this is painful. I want to work. I, I got to beg somebody, a group of, a group of people. Just that I want to work with my own site, my own website, my own business. I'm not asking them for a dime. I'm not asking them for advertising money. I'm not asking them for website hosting money. I'm not asking them for anything. I'm not asking them to talk to my clients on the phone. I will. I'm not asking them for anything. They don't have to go out of their way to stop hacking me. It's too much of a chore for them. I've had enough. Had enough. I want to just run away from this this where I live so badly. It's like this air of repulsion. I can't take it. I'm completely turned off by these people. I'm not these people's friends. I'm not their friends and I never will be. You've got to just get away from me. So I'm asking, please, any ideas on how to combat this, please help me, please, please.